It's all about the pandemics, baby. Hi guys, welcome to the Geek Tutorial DVD Player Special. Uh, yeah, this uh, is going to sound a little odd, but uh, I'm doing a special. A very short, hopefully one ten minute thing special on repairing this. Hopefully I can get it repaired. If I can't, I'm still putting this thing up just for fun. Plus you get to see the inside of this DVD player. Uh, this DVD player, there's only one thing wrong with it that I can uh, see just by looking at the front. Um, the tray right there is lodged up above, above the lip. So um, hopefully that's the only problem. Uh, it probably won't open, but uh, we'll see. First I'll plug it in. I love the way I have this thing set up. Just pull that, stick it in, and uh, there I go. Okay. Turn it on. All right, I get a light. Good. Hello. All right, that's on. Now to hit eject should come out, but it's probably not going to. There it goes, makes noise. It's trying to push, and it thinks it's closed. Okay, well, that proves that one. Now that it's unplugged, we're going to uh, go ahead and see if we can get the faceplate off, because that would be the easiest way. So, grab a screwdriver. And here we go. Five screws gone. Nothing else holding it in. Good, good. Tug. Nothing's happening. Okay. We'll try to get the uh, top off. That might help. Okay. All that is in the back, so. <laughs> There you are! That's the inside. You've got a standard DVD drive. 
and a controller board. The controller board has all the codecs and everything for uh, controlling or the, all the controller uh, the controller board has all the uh, codecs and everything for you know making this thing work. Uh, it's a there's more space in here than there really needs to be. To be honest, you can have a full size DVD player that's maybe about that high. That high. One and a half times as thick as this one. And just have the controller board sit underneath the player. But uh, that's not a problem. Just give a good push there. Alrighty. Now, to test it, make sure that's the only problem. I'm going to plug it in. And we're going to be very careful with this because we don't want to fry any of the components inside. Plugged in. And it's on. I can go ahead and hit that. And waiting for it to be ready. Hit eject. Maybe. There we go. Check it again. Don't be afraid. Try one more time. There we go. It's having trouble getting past the lip. All right. Uh, to make my life easier, I'm going to turn it off like that. Okay, exacto knife. So I'm going to make a cut from here to here across the top. Can't see it from this angle, but uh, turn on the light so I can see what I'm doing. Okay guys, uh, looks like my DVD player is now working after a thorough cleaning. Uh, it should be perfectly ready for, uh, I don't know where that came from. Uh, it should be perfectly ready to go ahead and go, and uh, thanks for watching, looks like I fixed it.